Hello, my name is Gary Kiesler, and I have been thinking for years about having a Banjo repository, um, a list of, alphabetic, of, of alphabetized tunes that you could see a name of a lot of the songs that banjo players play, and you could all you could scroll through you through YouTube videos to find the one that you wanted to hear or listen to them to see the ones you songs you like that you don't know the names of. So that's the purpose for doing this, and I'm going to. Uh, Hold up a list of the songs I'm going to do. I'm going to do one page per maybe hour video. And uh, then the first page, you can take a picture with your cell phone of that. And that way you'll know what you're getting this time. And then the next time, I will call these Banjo Repository 1, 2, and 3. This will be the second one. And that I'll do. And the next one will be, of course, this one right here, which is a little smaller. Why? Because there's fewer tunes on the page. And there we go. If you take pictures on a cell phone, about 130 songs all together. And then, of course, other banjo players want to take that list and make their own songs uh, out of it. They can make their own repositories. And then together, somebody good can do them all and, and, uh, and make it into a true uh, documentable type of uh, musical format. Back in the late 60s when I was learning and other banjo players were learning, we would take albums and we would uh, set the needle down on the album. We'd learn a track or a lick off a track and we'd continue from there. I think all the older banjo players have done that. Here are some of the albums that I have used and all the credit goes to the people who, who worked on these albums and uh, this is a great uh, two banjo player with Baldwin, Baldwin style D banjos, which I think is the prettiest banjo out there, but, um, but I never had one, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, but uh, some of these albums are obscure. Some are not quite as obscure. The Dillards learned a lot of things. I don't know how these people, I've only learned one song off of Joplin Fort. I don't think anybody else has got this album. So if you do, let me know. By the way, my email address is S G K E A S at yahoo.com that's sam george edward albert sam at yahoo.com and so if you have that album or other albums or just want to make a comment uh there you go bill knopf is that baldwin style d i don't think so well, it might be anyway might be a gibson anyway flatten the scruggs i love that old bow tie 250 rb 250 earls playing there uh and this has got bobby thompson it's a four and a five string Banjos playing together. Got Bobby Thompson uh, on the five string. It's it's just great. It's really funky. It's good though. Bill Monroe. Uh, the purpose of this uh, also is for me to. Uh, uh, some of these songs are getting lost. Like on this one, you got the old gray mare came tearing out of the wilderness, which is really cool. And then the heel and toe polka, which is like Molly Bloom, and it's also like Jordan's hornpipe, but it came first, so it's a precursor. I think Monroe might have said that this was where rhythm really began. He sounded like he was talking about Ginny Lynn, but it might have been actually this song. They might have gotten mixed up on the tracks. Anyway, I'm not sure. Um, Bill Keith, Mule Skinner, a uh, great guy. Had the privilege to know him. Uh, poor Richard's Almanac, Alan Monday. Just amazing. Of course, I leave out, I don't leave out Bela Fleck and Tony Trishka and, and many others that uh, we hear. Uh, I guess Noam Piccani now is really great. And Steve Martin. All those, uh, all those players who have uh, advanced bluegrass. So I, my little bit is just an alphabetized list and maybe some poor picking to go along with it. But uh, anyway, uh, Alan Mundy certainly contributed a great amount of tunes. Vic Jordan, uh, just amazing uh, what you can do. Carl Jackson, really, he could, he's up there. He's up there, top three or four in the world. Um, Larry McNeely, he wrote some frailing songs. Just really all around in musical uh, variety. And then, of course, this one, you can still find these out there. I found one still in the cellophane, you know, probably 50 years after it was made. It's kind of cool. Uh, the Osborne Brothers, of course, uh, Jim and Jesse, um, Stoneman Family. I play Fire on the Mountain because not many people play it anymore. I don't want them to forget that song. Dominique, she play play that on this. I never hear that anymore. I used to play it. I don't anymore, but I included it on the list. Uh, Frank Wakefield. Um, all these people, they're virtuosos. 
amazing. Dennis Saporin uh, on banjo. He's actually got a doctorate in banjo. I think the only one, and it's a really good university. Um, I think I've already done Country Gazette. Uh, I learned, transcribed a song called, called Washington Square from this Village Stompers album, even though it's not bluegrass. It makes a nice little tune. And of course, uh, Carl, I, he's already been there. Uh, Buck Owens, I mean, not Buck Owens, but um, Roy Clark, Buck Trent, did things with tuners that nobody's ever conceived of. Roy Lewis, Lewis family, great. Of course, you got this move, plays a pretty good Foggy Mountain breakdown on here. So, uh, with that, I'm just going to start picking the songs on the list. I can find the list. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not the world's greatest picker, and uh, I know it, and you'll know it before long. But the point of it is, is that um, you'll hear the, so the songs and maybe you've heard them somewhere, didn't know the name, or maybe you've never heard them and say, oh, I like that. And then you can go out to the internet and you can get the tab, buy the tab, take some lessons off one of the, uh, the internet uh, teaching sites and learn the songs that you like and uh, try that. That's an unusual tune. down to C tuning, which I did not ordain. All right, let's go with this, so 12th Street Rag. I'll probably play these slower than normal because I'll probably forget them if I don't, and I'd probably forget some of them anyway, so it's going to surprise me how badly I do this, but I'm going to see both hands here for some reason. Uh, 12th Street Rag. Next song is Ain't Got No Name. tune up to play them. It's a lot easier just to stay in G. I'm trying to do this in like an hour or so.
is Arkansas Traveler. Um, I think I'll tune up. You can actually tune down and play that in lower D. I used to play it a lot when, when I first learned fiddle tunes. I play everything and actually tune up to get to the where the fiddle played, which was most often D at that time. Something else I do, sometimes I'll play songs in like a minor key at the, at the same time just to to make it a little different. So I'm, I'll probably do that in here and I'll show you how to do that later on. You just offset by one fret or just, just figure it out. But anyway, it's uh, kind of nice. So I might do a couple of versions, a couple, I'll do a break in, in that in here with Arkansas Traveler. setting keys there one verse and one chorus that. um old lang syne it's a good song for a couple of months when it's uh, january already. So gee, think about that. Let's see. St. Mary's.
really, it seems like we hit a, hit a rhythm here. Cheatham. start off the net on uh, 9 and 10 position and move back to the 10 and 11 position play the first part of that the same same role same positioning and everything and it just gives you that offset kind of so sound I do that a few times so uh, gee black eyed Susie that's uh, kind of a little bit of rhythm too <laughs> Shuffle. Uh, <laughs> I don't really 
Remember that one. Oh, too well. I used to do some funny stuff with that, too. Cheyenne, that's an old tune, and uh, Bill Monroe did it. I think Bobby Thompson played the banjo on it. Um, it's really need a fiddle, but it's, it's a nice song you don't hear very often, so hope it doesn't go the way of the past and disappear. Uh, e minor. classical mix that I put together just to exercise. It's got different rhythms in it. I thought it might come in handy, so I'll just play it. It uh, starts off with um, some kind of a Bach thing, and then it goes into Hava Nagila, and then it goes to William Tell Overture, and then into Caravan, and somewhere with the rainbow, and um, Yakety Sax. So just little excerpts from all of them. Just fun to practice to try to keep the rhythm in shape. So uh, it's called a classical mix.
totally ad hoc. So totally different. CJ's breakdown is the next one. CJ standing for Carl Jackson. It's a good breakdown. I'll probably need to play it fast if I can remember how it goes. So, that's it. Slow it down for Clinch Mountain back step. Canada in 1977 at a banjo contest there and um, oddly enough Alan Monday, Bill Keith and J.D. Crow were the judges of that banjo contest. I never even met them. I was there, came in third I think and uh, 
Never even met him, so it would have been nice to have <laughs> at least thought about that, Chris. A lot younger back in 1977. All right, so this is uh, one I, I picked up up there from a guy frailing at a Canadian, a uh, French-Canadian banjo player. He's a frailer, and uh, I don't know what he called it. It might, might have a name in French, uh, and it's probably not the whole same same song. I'm sure I've sure I've messed it up together somewhere in there, but I a nice little tune. It's called Crystal. I call it Crystal Clear. I don't even know what they called it then. Dream and uh, play that in A, where well, I guess fiddle players are playing in G now, so I kind of like it. Maybe we'll slow it down a little bit.
That's a nice song. Okay, uh, Not For Devil's Dream was Dominique, and that's on that Stoneman family album. It's an old, kind of a Latin Dominique. I can't sing, but anyway, that's how they would play on a banjo. It wasn't that hard, but might be worth remembering and bringing back. Don't want to lose any banjo songs. Not really enough of those anyway. Next one, next one is uh, Dixie Hoedown. string down one fret capo up to the second fret and you would normally just move your fifth string up two frets for like an A tuning so you play Jerusalem's Ridge which is coming up so I don't know if I get to it today or tomorrow um, but uh, done gone you actually move this up three more frets bit higher. Give you a little bit of a different perspective up there. I always forget where it starts. I think it's Jim and Jesse. place and try that. It's out of order, so uh, but I thought I'd try it since sometimes I just can't even can't even play it. So that would be following um, um, uh, Done Gone, which Amazing Love, since Done Gone uses, well, it really doesn't use that, but uh, it's in that minor key. We'll go back to G, and we're going to do Doug's tune. I always go there without. Um,
Okay. Kind of funny how uh, I just think Dixie Hoedown's got that same walk in it as Doug's tune. Interesting. Guess guess music is all the same. It's only so many notes. It's how you put it together. Um, down yonder. That's kind of like Daryl Dixie. So sometimes, sometimes I get confused. So I might not be able to get this so right. Exactly right. small ones it should be so easy to remember it goes right out of your brain um next one i did if i can remember it kind of reminiscent of my drive for 33 years to work in the traffic and so uh call it drive time it kind of sounds like a, like a car bad traffic with horns i remember it We took a little battle in New Orleans. I think that's where you got the melody from the old fiddle tune called 8th of January. That's Soldier's Joy. Oh, well, let's try it down here. 8th of January. Oh, El Cumanchero. 
I've been dreading this, playing this. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever played it with anybody. I played, learned it about 30 years ago, but, and I keep practicing it, but I don't know if I'll ever get it right. So this is El Cumachero. It's an old swing tune. Um, I forget how I start. I do it a little differently too, because I've kind of just, my brain let it morph over those years. So, uh, sound like if you want to learn it um fireball mail we'll just slow this down a little bit Tune you don't hear very often anymore, and I'm not even sure I can remember it. So it's a little different, got a little different change up in timing. See if uh, this might be it. because that's the way I learned it in 1971. So it's like another tune called Ricketts Hornpipe, which I'll try later on.
you're a fiddle player, let me know if that works out because it's been an awful long time since I played that song. All right. Um, Flint Hill Special. I, I won't do too much of that because I really don't. I've kind of forgotten that one, so if I can even... so well done and everybody wants to play their own style on it so I thought I'd play one normal verse one mid-range chromatic verse one upper level Scruggs verse and really I can't control my fingers so I don't know what I'll do but four verses and I try not to do anything too strange this is not Saturday Night Live you know so we remember the song now and I'm not going to play it too fast either could go, you know. What a good lead in. It's not a bad tune to get your rolls really smooth on to work on. That would be a good one. Foggy Mountain Special. It's another one I kind of dread. I'm going to do it really slow. A lot of guys really beat it up, but I'll just do it slow. I save my fast tunes for things like uh, Popeye, <laughs> something like that. Let's see, you know, Foggy Mountain Special. It's a boogie woogie tune, just G, C, and D.
And then green sleeves, it's an old tune also known as What Child Is This? songs or songs you play on a banjo and then um, we get about 125 of these songs done you might be able to use them to find songs that you want to get the tab for or go to get CDs for we're almost up to an hour in time so I'd like to finish a couple songs and we'll have the first page done so this is a gold rush Fiddle tune, a in a row. I'm gonna do it a little slower than probably normal Father's Clock. Everybody knows this one, probably, but for those who never heard it. speed.
that's part one of Banjo Repository, part one, one. <laughs> so that's the first uh, page. We'll get the other two pages down here. I like them actually better. These are pretty hard. The thing it is, is to try not to lose songs. And I didn't play many songs that aren't done. Um, done Gone is not done very often. Um, um, Bill Bailey, perhaps not. And Cher uh, Cheyenne is not, plus we've done as much. So some of those songs uh, might, other people might learn and, and keep them alive. And then there's more on the other pages coming up, Sugarfoot Rag and things like that. You don't really hear too often top, top Hat Ramble on the banjo. So look forward to doing that uh, next time. Hope you enjoyed these. Hope I didn't mess it up too bad. Have a nice weekend.